Oh, Jesus. Traction off. Traction is literally saving my life. Whoa, did I just get a bang then? Yo, that sounded militant. What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Tonight we're going for a POV drive in a stage 3 M240i. This car's running a pure 800 turbocharger by Pure Turbos and uh, we estimate horsepower to be around 580 brake horsepower. It's wet, cold, dark. It's not going to be the safest. We are running Michelin Pilot Sport 5 tyres but if you've not seen the previous video I'd highly recommend checking that out. We went over, you could say it was a bit more of an in-depth video, we went over all the modifications. 15 to 25,000 pounds been spent on this car i'm going to show you that it's probably a waste of money when it comes to these wet nights so yeah we're going to quickly fill up some shell v power this car is mapped on 99 octane don't need no race fuel no ethanol we don't need no methanol nothing guys just fresh 99 octane so guys enjoy the video Can't slow me down like speed hum no keep up when i speed up see your future that's my past yeah. see the smoke when i drive past yeah. fast lane living life Quick little 20 quid in. We've got a bit of petrol in already. Surely some of you will realize that petrol has got a little bit cheaper. I mean, this is probably the only walk around you lot are gonna get on this car. So you can see we've got the mic hooked up. We've got engine bay mic hooked up as well. So hopefully get some nice exhaust sounds. And uh, yeah, you can see we've got the BBS lightweight alloys, upgraded brakes, uh, Bilstein B16 Damptronic suspension. So it's adjustable via the buttons inside the cabin. M3 style mirrors, M performance splitters, M performance exhaust, uh, M4 lower control arms, shit loads of mods guys, honestly. Number 20, bro. Thank you, brother. Oh, man, you lot don't know the fuel that I spent. Sorry, don't know the amount of money I spent on fuel, should I say. Got a P3 gauge down here as well. And um, yeah, it's a nice cabin. HP ZF gearbox, this is at a XHP flash. Let's go. Let's see what she's like to drive. Technology in action, let's go. Sports display. Shows 640, but obviously it's not going to be 640. We'll go Sport Plus. So one cool feature that the previous owner done on this car. By the way, we did buy this privately. It wasn't bought via a trader. Guy absolutely loved this car. Basically a track build. It's had all like the bush insert, chassis inserts. You know, like it's really stiff, man, uh, but still comfortable. Obviously, Bilstein, they're really good suspension. I think the old Beamers used to have these from factory but um, basically yeah this is an m3 alcantara steering wheel and you've got the m1 m2 buttons which is functional on this car which i think is bloody sick we're gonna go sport plus don't know why i didn't just use the steering wheel then but um yeah let's just spin it see what happens oh yes yeah, nice the traction feels good um i'm not sure you know uh, if the software has been updated for the traction control and the stability control but um, we did do a 0 to 60 in 3.8 seconds uh, in the dry that was in sport mode we're in sport plus now but yeah this is where the quattros come alive like the golfs the you know the beamers i mean look at the end of the day should you be driving with any kind of speed in the wet you know we've got standing water right now but look, if i just flatten my foot fourth gear look we're spinning do you know what i mean it's not a dangerous spin though but one thing, you know, just a bit of advice for anybody, you know, driving rear wheel drive for the first time, especially when you've got uh, a, a very torquey engine like the M240 or the B58, uh, be careful with upshifts, man, like going over white lines and, you know, you really do need to modulate the throttle. Like I am not driving, not aware, you know, I'm, 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 I'm fully in tune with the car. I'm, I'm expecting it to go wrong, put it like that. I'm not gonna try drift in this car because it's not an M3. I don't know how it's gonna behave, but we've got traction on the new way. <laughs> yeah, see they're a little bit snappier than, than the... Uh... What an animal, man. It spins up every bloody gear. <laughs> Let me tell you, this is... I, I can't believe that this car 
Uh, only did 7.1 hundreds to 200. I know it will beat that because we did that in one shot. And like, even when I've done all the draggy testing on my car, you have to do like, bro, sometimes you do 30, 40 runs. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, 6.6 this car did apparently hundreds to 200. And uh, just for the record, an Audi R8 does it in like 5.7. Just call it six seconds, an R8. Hurricane will do it in. So this is a very fast car, man. But it's crazy to think that, like, this car, honestly, it feels so fast. But cabin's nice, I'll the light on. You can see it's just like an M140, just a bit more space, a bit more laid back. Obviously, we've got the pillarless doors. The doors are obviously longer, because it's a two-door. Obviously, guys, you know that this car is on the website. Somebody will be winning it for 199. Take a link in the description. As mentioned, ridiculously spec. Check out the previous video where I actually drove it in the dry. No, I don't think so, Mini. I don't think I want to turn traction off, man. more planted um, M lights but still not like a M3 or an M4 so you've got the white line there with the cat size dead the little things you've got to be careful of man it's so fast you've got the 8-speed ZF gearbox upgraded discs upgraded pads braided lines and uh, the suspension, I'm sure, will be Bill Steen's best. Damptronic B16s. Adjustable, this car has had a Geo setup as well for track. And I think it's all stock cooling. We've got MST air filter, upgraded charge pipes. Yeah, the Michelin tires, as good as they are. Not sure what the wet weather's like. I'm not sure, would the PS5 be better than the PS4S? What's you got the PS4? Need some tire expert to chime in right now, but it does feel good. It don't feel super sketchy. <laughs> the way it oh, we're just skipping then. Yeah, gotta be cautious, man. Gotta be humble when you drive a car like this. Um, you know, especially when you're if you're young and you got your mates and they're four-wheel drivers. You gotta. Where, yeah, you just don't get that same planted feel, but the induction sounds are nuts. Oh, you hear that? It's a like ghost, bro. Ghostbusters, and that you know what I'm saying. I just want to say for anybody that's considering turbos right now and you're sitting there thinking mm, they'll go with a quick spool setup or they'll go for one with a bit more mid-range punch or do you want that you know explosive power right at the top of the rpm i just want to say if you enjoy driving please sacrifice that little bit of horsepower oh jesus sacrifice that you know, mid-range is okay, that's a nice, you know, it's not bad. It's always good to have a bit of mid-range, but man, the quick spool in nature is what is so exciting about this car. It's one of the most exciting cars I've driven this year without fail because of how the turbo works. It's an upgraded turbo, it's a hybrid. I assume it's a hybrid turbo, but it's so quick spooling, man. It's just got the same nature as how BMW intended it to be from factory, you know? And it doesn't feel too fast. I mean, yeah, it is too fast for the road. It's like supersonic, guys. Like, it is rapid. Like, I find it hard to believe that there's cars faster than this. And the reason why it feels so fast is just because of how quick it spools up. It's just gone the second you. I mean, it's not. Okay, it's not got the most instant throttle response, but when it does come on, it just goes quick, you know. And you're talking, look, 4,000, it's well into the boost.
traction is literally saving my life. Thank the load. Whoa, did I just get a bang then? Yo, that's had a militant. Bro, 100% would have caught that on the, on the mic. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be going down to second with the ZF. You can stay and gear up, can't you? Third. Brakes are awesome. Because it's pretty stiff, bro. The brakes, I'm telling you, whatever he's done to the brakes. Oh my God, this car is so fast. The brakes are sick. It is predictable, like it's not just spitting me left to right, but it is moving from the rear, do you know what I mean? Feel how stiff it is, it needs to be soft up on this road. Yeah. Wow, what a pocket rocket. My God, I love this car. Definitely more stable than the M140. Tiny bit of understeer then. <laughs> but this is how you gotta drive these, you can't be, you know, hard on boost, stair gear up. Actually, we're going right. The boost just feels consistent, you know? Don't feel like I'm losing anything. Like, usually the intake temps get pretty hot on the M240s. This feels nice, the power just feels consistent. We're not obviously revving it out for like 10, 15 seconds at a time. In a racing situation, you'd obviously be, you know, running through how many gears, you know, like first gear to, to fifth gear. We're just tapping the throttle. So for a spirit to drive like that, it's fine. You don't feel any loss of performance. And that was the idea uh, with the previous owner in this car. Uh, the idea was to have a reliable car, something that you could drive on track. You can easily stretch this turbo uh, or, or, or raise the boost and uh, run this car probably mid sixes, you know, 650, sorry. You could probably easily run this 650 horsepower. As mentioned before, that you've got that YouTuber, Luke. He's running 730 horsepower on ethanol. But you know, we don't have access to ethanol. We do, but just not at the pump. Let's uh, just turn the traction off just for this shits and giggles. Second gear. Yeah, instant spin. Traction off. Absolutely rocket. So guys, I am gonna end the video there. As always, if you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. And uh, as mentioned at the beginning of the video, you can actually win this very vehicle for one pounds and 99p. This road is not looking good, is it? But yeah, guys, take a link in the description. Uh, we have winners every single Sunday. And as I say, this very car, you can win genuinely, 100%. No extensions, no rollovers, 1000% genuine winners on the LLF games so yeah man thanks to everyone who supports me continues to watch my videos continues to like them comment I really do appreciate it and I know like um, we're filming a lot of my competition cars but guys come on look at the cars I'm buying they're sick why would I not go out and film them you know so uh, yeah cool people till next time
like speed hump no. Keep up no. when I speed up no. See your future, that's my past yeah. See the smoke when I drive past yeah. Fast lane, living life fast See a girl, she's in my car mm. Oh well, that's your girl in my hotel That's five stars yeah. Make the rules yeah. disappear